not listening to you. I have no interest in talking to you at all. You 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 have aligned yourself with terrorists. That's the end of the discussion. I have aligned myself so you with have terrorists. As well. I was speaking to you about humanitarian aid to Palestinians, to innocent women, children. Do you know that the average age of the person killed by the Israeli government is five years old? And when I tell you that, does that does that tug at your heartstrings at all? No, I'm looking for a taxi. Would you please get out of my way? It's a really unprofessional and cruel and totally baseless thing to say. This is an elected official. And she called me a terrorist because I asked her about humanitarian aid. I asked her about war crimes. Because you've aligned yourself with Hamas. I've aligned myself with Hamas. See, this is their argument. They say that if you support Palestinian lives, you're aligned with Hamas. And they use that to basically dehumanize Palestinians Absolutely. as well. They, Baseless they rhetoric. So that they can continue to support Israel with impunity. They can continue to support the murder and the starvation of people with impunity. And I just, th there's nothing to say besides just throwing names, really actually quite dangerous Absolutely. names, at constituents. That's right. We are voters. Yeah, we're Americans. One of my constituents. How did you know I'm not from who, Wyoming? I don't represent, I don't, I don't represent, I'm my stuff with people. Well, you so support you, genocide. But wait, she just said that. So she just said, if you're of Wyoming, if, listen to Wy Wyoming constituents. If you don't support her views, she doesn't support you. She's not representing Lied. you. You Lied. And you just said that well, we you don't align camera. yourself with people who support right. Palestinians. So what about your Wyoming what profile? I said, I said Hamas. So what, what, and what about me, who's someone who's spoken for Palestinians and you keep saying that I support Hamas? You don't know me and I've never mentioned Hamas. We're not you discussing are... Hamas. We're discussing innocent civilian lives being lost to Israel's slaughter, being lost to genocide, which you clearly care nothing about. Well, we know what your legacy will be. Do you have a red line with regards to Israel's war crimes? Is there something that they would do that you would then say, I no longer support them? consulate in Syria, is that concerning to you? A wider war in which the U.S. would be drawn into? Or maybe you would be concerned with the hostages in which Israel just struck the head political figure of Hamas's grandchildren on the same, on Eid, no less, on the same day that they were supposed to have an exchange. Is that something that concerns you? Are you worried about the families in Israel who are begging and condemning the national of the peace? Who do you represent? Is it the people financing your campaign? Could you answer? Could you answer? I don't know if to answer, answer any of your questions. You're not, you work clearly. You're, you're not. not. No, but you work for she the calls people, people you terrorists. Are, you are a representative of the United okay. States. What is your red line? What is your red line Congressman for the Hageman. people in Gaza? What is your red line for famine? Whose lives do you are you concerned with? Have you listened to maybe the doctors, Doctors Against Genocide, or the people returning from Gaza who have described amputations with no anesthesia, of shrapnel shredding children's faces, of babies who weigh less after they're born because they're starving to death, mothers with C-sections who don't have anesthesia who then die later from complications, or maybe the women who have been stolen by the IDF outside of a hospital and then raped and then forced to watch their husbands be executed. And Israel has murdered most of its own hostages at this point, so for you all to keep talking about the hostages is becoming a moot point at this junction in the genocide, which you're clearly you a say, supporter right? of a genocide. Your legacy is supporting a genocide. Good job, Congresswoman, good job.